Hello, wonderful viewers. Welcome to my creative corner. My name is Boron, and today I want to talk about something that's been a big part of my life for as long as I can remember: perfectionism. As I'm sharing one of my doodle drawing projects with you, I have studied art, and I'm a 3D character artist at the moment. But doodle art is a way of making myself calm. I draw when I want to deeply connect with myself and this kind of doodle drawing art is a good practice for me to fight my perfectionism. Whenever I don't draw a perfect line, I remind myself that's okay and I don't need to start on a new page. One day I happened to see a Japanese quote when I was scrolling and I really loved it. The quote says, nothing is finished, nothing is perfect, and nothing lasts. These words resonated with me deeply. They reminded me that perfection is an illusion, that everything is in a constant state of change. Doodle drawing became my sanctuary, a place where I could embrace the imperfections, the unfinished, and the transient nature of art. It became a symbol of freedom, a rebellion against the suffocating grip of perfectionism. With every stroke of a pen, I'm reminded that perfection is not the goal. Instead, it's about the joy of creation, the process of exploration, and the magic of embracing the unexpected. In doodle drawing, there's room for mistakes. If a line takes an unplanned turn, I adapt and let it guide me to new possibilities. It's a beautiful metaphor for life itself. Perfectionism can be both a blessing and a curse. On one hand, it pushes us to strive for excellence and achieve our goals. But on the other hand, it can be paralyzing, leading to anxiety, self-doubt, and an endless cycle of never feeling good enough. I'll be honest with you all, I struggle with perfectionism every day. It's like a constant voice in my head telling me that nothing I do is good enough. But I'm trying to work on it and I want to share some tips with you on how to overcome perfectionism and live a more fulfilling life as I'm practicing them myself. One, embrace imperfection. Remember that nobody is perfect and that's okay. Allow yourself to make mistakes and learn more from them. Two, set realistic goals. Instead of aiming for perfection, set achievable goals that challenge you but are within reach. 3. Practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding just like you would a friend. 4. Seek support. Talk to friends, family, or a therapist about your struggles with perfectionism. You're not alone in this. 5. Focus on progress, not perfection. Celebrate your achievements, no matter how small, and acknowledge the effort you put in. It's been a long road for me, but I've made progress by implementing these strategies in my daily life. I still have bad days, but I'm learning to be kinder to myself and appreciate the journey, not just the destination.
Remember, perfectionism is not a destination to reach, but a mindset to overcome. Let's work on it together and create a life filled with growth, self-compassion and joy. I hope you found inspiration in this video. Before I leave, I have a special request for you. In the comment section below, I'd love to hear where you're watching from. Share your country and let's connect through the universal language of creativity. Also, if you enjoyed this video and found value in it, I kindly ask you to support my channel Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to join our creative community. And remember, your voice matters. If you have any thoughts, questions, or personal experiences to share, I'd love to hear from you. Share your stories, suggestions, or simply say hello in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining me today. Your support means the world to me. Until we meet again, keep creating.